little uh, things about health as well, a constitution that you have. And, and I'm mm-hmm. sure yours, yours has different layers, which I really love. And I can't wait to have my chart done by you. <laughs> and, um, so I, I just think that all of this brings what my clients used to say to, they get a sense of relief. They get a sense of self-esteem yes. uh, because mm-hmm. people come when they have things that are not going right. And when they get, when they get an answer that's within them and they can see it, it's not the same as going to a psychiatrist. I don't, mm-hmm. I, I dealt with my mother issues all of this way, eating disorders all of this way. It, mm-hmm. I didn't need to see a psychiatrist because it was there and I saw cycles that were going on and timing, timing is a huge thing for business. So some of my mm-hmm. clients want to know about timing, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't do so much about timing in human yeah. design, to be honest. Yeah, yeah um, that's what I but, do. That's but what it's, saying. Yeah. Yeah. But that, and so that's a, a nice distinction um, in a way. But, but once you find out about your human design and your decision-making strategy, you can use it immediately. Um, and that helps people a lot, too. Well, and I love that you're related to the thing about relationship because, man, that's what business is all about. And, and it's, it extends because it's mm-hmm. not just about the partners that you might be working with, but it's yes. it's also the employees. But it also is the, the family clients. behind your back and how are they yeah. supporting or not supporting? Do you right, deal with right. that issue? Yeah. Yeah. And so there, there are definitely ways to deal with that. And and then the, the um, another piece of it, of course, is the audience or the clients that you want to reach. Right. And so there are some particular clients that are going to work better with you than others. And so wouldn't it be nice to know that, too? Yes. It would be a miracle. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so you can attract them more easily, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. so how, do you, how do you get the word out about what you do, uh, Karen? Because I think this is fantastic. Oh, thank you. Um, I I have a website called livingbyhumandesign.com. Um, oh, and the, the web the charts are always free on my website, so you can just go to the website, um, click on the free get a free chart, and fill in the information, and you'll get the chart within a few hours. Um, I also have a book called Getting to Know You, um, which is a a, a, a simple understanding of human design for the the person who's just hearing about it. Um, it explains how it can help you in different ways with your career, with your relationships, with your health, and and uh, even spiritually. So are there many people that do what you do, and how do you um, set yourself apart from, from that? What, what's the difference there? Um, I find that the people who like me find me, <laughs> which is great. Um, I have a bunch of videos on YouTube. Um, that's actually how a lot of people find me. And and through the website, of course, um, through the book now, and uh, which just came out like six months ago. And, um, and there, yes, there are, there's a few different schools of human design and they're all relatively similar. Um, you know, we're pretty much teaching the same thing. Unfortunately, the founder passed away in 2011, but um, everybody's kind of taking their, crack at it, right, in terms of how we present it. And so mine is a very, you know, kind of compassionate, loving, understanding way of looking at your chart and just explaining how beautiful you are from birth. Like, it hasn't changed. Everything's wonderful. And, you you know, you just need to know what your talents are and your skills and then go out and do it. I I heard um, just a real quick quote from Jerry Seinfeld the other day who said, you know, we have these vehicles that we're born into and we have this stallion of talent. Each of us has a talent, right? And then you just have to figure out how to ride the, the stallion during life. And so that's exactly what human design is too. Once you know what your talents are, you can ride the stallion. And then you have to figure out who you can ride that stallion with if you're going, <laughs> if you're going far. Right. Yes. <laughs> so uh, That's true. Uh, I, I wanted to ask about, you have many years in corporate sales and marketing positions. You were, mm-hmm. you were in the Northeast and now you're in you're in Florida. So how did that happen? And how does that kind of, uh, you know, benefit, obviously our past always benefits where we are. How does mm-hmm. that work with what you're doing now? Well, I love because I, the 30 plus years in corporate in America, in um, New York and New Jersey uh, positions, I have this, you know, wealth of business knowledge that I'm able yeah. to help my clients with. And so yeah. if they're interested in growing a business or, or figuring out how to change or, or even when women are, women especially are transitioning from a corporate environment to their own business or right. from empty nester to a business, I'm able to help them um, figure out how to do that. Brilliant. That's awesome. Brilliant. Wow. Yeah. Well, and what, what prompted you to write your book? 
I uh, attended a conference and there was a guy there who said, do you need to write a book? And, and my immediate gut response was, yes, I need, it's time. It's time to write a book. I've been basically studying human design for 10 years and practicing it for almost as long. Um, I left my corporate job about five years ago when we moved down to Florida and um, uh, decided to do human design full time at that point. And so I'm lucky enough to be practicing um, what I preach and, and doing what I love. And so... Um, the, uh, the the book was just a natural progression of that. I just I just felt like people needed more than an encyclopedia of human design. They needed something that they could hold on to, that they could you know give to friends and family and help them ex explain or see you know what how human design can help people. And I'm assuming that you use the this human design practice in your corporate world where you were before you came to Florida. Is that right? Well, I knew about it, but I didn't uh, know. <laughs> Really? I did not use it. Isn't that interesting? Uh, yeah. and, but, you know, but it, and I'll but tell it you, Patricia. It helped you, right? Uh, yeah, it did definitely. It helped me to understand my friends and family a lot better. It, it helped yeah. me to understand my colleagues. And yes. I'll tell you, when I, I fortunately, I found about it. I found out about this nine months before my mother passed, and it explains so much about our relationship and with my father. And I was able to explain this to her in a way that just had her feel so much better as she you know, kind of had her, her final visits with friends and family. And so that alone was worth it to me. When I saw the difference in her, just knowing her human design and, and my relationship with her, that really was a turning point for me. Oh my God, Karen, that is so fantastic. Cause I know when my mother passed, she wasn't, she was in the query. She didn't really yeah. understand. And, and I thought she did, but then mm -hmm. uh, there was just this point in her mentality as her brain started changing, um, that she couldn't understand. So you were able to yeah. do that with your mom, right? Yeah, yeah. So she was, you know, someone who really, there are certain types that are energy types that just should have children and some that shouldn't. My mother was one who really shouldn't have had six kids, yet she did. And like, so how? for her, it was, all, yeah, it was just always a struggle. And she'd never understood why, but I was able to explain it to her you know, in a way that was compassionate and understanding and not making any, you know, there was no, no wrong making. Right. It, was, it was really all about being loving and uh, kind and, and um, helping to, her to understand. That is so fantastic because people, yeah. um, when they're getting ready to pass, they need to really be at peace with their yeah. lives. And I think that's one of the biggest struggles. And mm -hmm. also the family, the, in, the close family needs to be at peace with it as well. Right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, there's so much guilt often that's thrown around, and guilt is pain. Yeah. And, you know, so, wow, that is very useful. Well, yeah. we, we love the fact that you are doing what you're doing, Karen. And I think, you know, we're going to be having this um, business building day. We want to let our members know that you've got, um, you've got this available to them because many of them are just getting started or they're, they're, um, restarting and they're not really sure and i think mm -hmm. uh, this really gives it a, a great vehicle I, I love that you offer this um ability to um is that from your that's from your um website to get yes uh, mm -hmm. the chart that that you, they'll just automatically generate there and then they can set up a consultation with you as well right mm -hmm. yes yeah or we could even talk about it on the business day which would be great too Wonderful. And so how, do, how do people get your book? Is your book available on Amazon as well? Yes, it is. If you just put in getting to know you, you'll find it. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. having fun going through it. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can literally just, you know, flip through and read a little bit. Mm -hmm. Chapter two is all on your relationships. I see here. I have it in my hands. Mm -hmm. So it's been really fun for me to read um, excerpts of it, you know, so that mm -hmm. I'm getting really interested in. Yeah, it's yeah, about getting to know me. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Well, well we all know. We all need mm -hmm. to know ourselves better, right? Well, We're we need to know ourselves growth. first, right? Yes. First, and yeah, then yeah. and then we can deal with the relationships a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, and I do put two uh, charts together to create the relationships, which is kind of interesting, too, because basically, energetically, if I have one, let's say, gate and you have another gate and they come together, they create an electromagnetic, which, again, is part of the quantum physics piece of it, right? And so those electromagnetics, the more you have, guess what? The more electricity there is and the more of a juicy connection you've got. So it's really nice to see that in relationships. And um, you'd be surprised at some that don't have those relationships and then, or electromagnetics and then some others that do. 
Wow. You know, so this is so interesting. We could go on like forever. I really want you yeah. to let everybody know exactly what your website is before okay. we wrap up. So you can Great. tell everybody that. Sure. So it's livingbyhumandesign.com. Okay. And, and you, you're on Facebook as well, I'm sure. I am. Yep. And they could okay. do the same thing. Just type in living by human design and it'll come up. And uh, I'm on, on YouTube as well. So there are videos on YouTube and there are also videos on my website that they can uh, take a look at. I wonder, wonderful. So on YouTube, they would just type in your name, Karen Flaherty or, or living, by, living by Human Design. Uh -huh. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Well, we thank, thank you. you so much for joining us today. This has been really interesting. It's really opened up a new, you know, interest for me on top of my learning. <laughs> I can't get enough. There's always so, more. Yeah, so we thank you all for joining us today and please be sure to listen in next time.